we get questions all the time here at Supercar Garage. How do you guys do this? Whatever this may be. And one of the common questions we get is, how do you work on a car in someone's garage without a lift? And the answer is quite simple. You don't have to spend a lot of money on some really fancy equipment. We're going to show you some tools that you can buy very local to you for not a lot of money. And you can do this and we're going to show you exactly how to jack your car up, get underneath it so you can work on it like a pro and do it safely. First, in my hand, some of you may have recognized a hockey puck. These cost a dollar or two on Amazon or some other place like that. I like Amazon because I don't have to go anywhere. Buy it where you want. We've got a couple of Esco brand jack stands that are unique in the fact they have this rubber pad and a circular top built in. This is really carbon fiber tub friendly. It also creates a friction surface so the smooth carbon tub doesn't slide, especially as you're jacking and loading and unloading the car at different angles. And of course we've got the Harbor Freight Special. <laughs> a very inexpensive floor jack, maybe $230, but it's a low profile, long reach. That's going to be important. You see where we just placed the hockey puck? This gives us a nice friction surface between the metal of the floor jack and the bottom of the tub, the carbon fiber tub. We don't want to scratch that and we don't want anything to slip off. So, pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to jack the car from not the approved jack point, but a very good point. We're going to show you exactly how to do that, which will leave the jack points free, think about that, for us to actually place our jack stands. Because here's the quandary. If I jack my car up on the jack point underneath the corner here, how do I take my jack out and put my jack stand in? You just can't do it. Here's how we do it. You'll notice I've got my jack stands at two different positions right off the bat. I've got the lowest setting, and this particular jack stand, I believe, is a 13 inches, the lowest setting, and 21.5 inches. Be sure you order the right ones. We do not have these at full height. We could go higher, but this is going to give us plenty of room to work under the car. We can change the oil, we can do coolant clamps, we can do transmission fluid, uh, filters, all kinds of things, right, right in the garage. The important thing to know is we're going to find the corner of the carbon tub. The carbon tub stops somewhere in this area, right around the end of the door, and then it connects to an aluminum frame that is the engine cradle. The strongest point of the carbon tub is where the corners come together and it goes vertical, like the corner of a box, triangulating. So as, as an opportunity to demonstrate what that would look like outside of the environment of the car, we've got this cardboard box and if this were our carbon fiber tub, we would be jacking directly on the corner where the triangulation of all sides come together. This is the strongest part of the carbon tub. Somewhere in the upper area here inside the car is where the engine brace actually bolts to the carbon tub. This is a very strong area. All right? So specifically, underneath the car, the carbon fiber tub comes here. It terminates right where this metal plate is bolting to it. This metal plate goes under the engine. And this orange part here is um, superficial. It is for decoration. It is not structural. There is a body plug right here. And what we want to do is we want to position our jack right here on the corner. We're right by that bolt. The body plug's over here. And now we're going to have the strongest part of the car. And so, for reference, let's take a look at where the jack is outside the car. see we do not have to go really high as long as these two initial jack stands 
fit under the car, we're going to be able to put them on the jack points. There's usually a green sticker, but it's not always there. The green sticker is right beside the body plug. We're going to simply position this right where the green sticker is. And then we'll do the same in the rear. And in the rear, the jack point's a little... Luckily, this car still has the green stickers. The jack point is this one solo piece of metal. It's a little wider. You can see the pan's not attached to it on either side. This is our jack point in the rear. And we actually need to go up just a touch. Let's let it down. Side one will be complete. So the opposite side of the car is just the opposite. We're going to find the same jack point on the corner of our carbon tub. We're going to jack it up, but we're going to go to a higher point this time. And again, I like to do it with the doors open. It makes it easier for me to reference and find that spot and make sure I'm not putting any pressure on the colored or the painted portions of the car. Step two, we've jacked up the second side of the car. We put it on the higher setting. You can see we're on the jack points for our jack stands. We'll slowly release and put the car here. We'll go to the other side, bring it up, level those stands, and now we can work on this car. This is the spot we want right here. This is the, the strongest part of the carbon tub. There you go. So here I am. I'm under the car. I've got plenty of room to work. I can change the oil. I can do clamps. I can do a water pump. I can do an oil pump. I can do almost all, all kinds of service work to this car right here in a garage without a two post lift. This is a game changer. This allows us to come to your location and work on the car or you work on your own car. So if you enjoyed the video and the tech tip we shared today, Maybe you've got a question or a tech tip you would like some information on. Feel free to ask us down in the comments. We love your comments. We would like to know. And if you want to check out some of our other videos here, or maybe even here, for tech tips or other information that we share. Hey, second, I spin on this. I got it back in blessings. Don't, don't, don't.